The FBI is hunting for a convicted felon tonight who's wanted in two bank robberies. And investigators say Michael Keats has ties to Western New York, but he could be anywhere in the country. News 4's Luke Moretti reports on why Keats is proving to be so tough to find. Michael James Keats is wanted by the Buffalo FBI office in connection with two Western New York bank robberies from October 2015. One occurred at this M&T bank on Niagara Falls Boulevard in Amherst. The other involved a Northwest Savings Bank in Olean. In both cases, he handed a note to bank tellers. One of those notes indicated he may have had a weapon, and another time um, the other note indicated that he may have had a bomb. FBI special agent in charge Adam Cohen says Keats has been known to live a transient lifestyle and that he fled one of the bank robberies on a stolen bicycle. He seems to get places um, by either bicycle, perhaps bus, and a significant amount of walking. According to the FBI, Keats is comfortable spending time outdoors and has walked hundreds of miles, once from Virginia to New York. But after the 2015 Western New York bank robberies, Cohen says Keats dropped off the grid. He disappeared for about 14 months. We had no indications about where he was, um, what his condition was, um, whether he was alive or dead. We didn't know. But federal authorities believe Keats, a convicted felon, surfaced in Orlando, Florida this past December. Now the FBI is seeking the public's help, offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. During a prior arrest of Mr. Keats, uh, he had at, at that time pointed a weapon at law enforcement and was subsequently shot by law enforcement. So individuals, if they encounter him, should consider him to be um, potentially armed and dangerous. According to a criminal complaint obtained by News 4, Keats was arrested in 1999 for a bank robbery in the Lake Placid area. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to contact the FBI at 856-7800. Luke Moretti, News 4.